Fancy around. Oh, for life. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Hollow point bullet, ne, man. He'll be okay, though. He'll be okay. He'll be okay, right? Internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Hmm. Oh, this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What? <coughs> what happened? To me? There was. You got lucky. God, you found dina. yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Oh. Me. <coughs> oh. Please, baby, you don't move. Can you help me? Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh. For heaven's sake. <coughs> See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? That'll do. You're probably better off. This way, I'll have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Excuse me, Miss White. But perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I think I should stay. At least until you die. Uh, Out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. So, if you wouldn't mind, don't worry, Snow. We don't work, no. I'll be okay. I'm okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. Hey, Doc. How hey, much longer? Oh, Colin, Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> this isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give up. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. So, how do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of 
kind of scared the hell out of me. Well, I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, Snow. Snow. I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin, <laughs> Colin I'm just yeah. saying, I was worried about him is all. We'll all get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? <laughs> What's even happening? <laughs> I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? <laughs> and who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? The crooked man, crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like he either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Big B. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? My ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man was strength. This is all about control of Fable Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? I don't know how it all works out yet. But I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter. I'm sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right. Exactly. I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. This is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to. I'm going to let you do it. Okay. Okay, It's just that. Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, 
จเย็นนะทุกคนเข้าใจไหมเขาคงใจเย็นเลยผมไม่ใจเย็นเขาไม่ใจเย็นอยากขายใช่ไหมโอเคมีคนรออยู่ที่ออฟฟิศให้ทายว่าใคร Nerissa 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 คนที่ปุ๋ยพายเขาบอกว่ามีอย่างบางอย่างที่จะคุยกับนายแต่ว่าแต่ฉันจะบอกแค่นายเองเท่านั้นว่าคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไรคุณคิดว่าอะไร Disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little. 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 You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Maybe they're sending me to farm, right? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, maybe a few will get sent up, but my friend Carl. Could I just send you? But I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. 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 คือถ้าเกิดไปติดที่ว่าหน้ามึงเหมือนประยุทธ์แต่คือมึงเป็นลูกหมูสามตัวกูจะให้มึงอยู่บ้านกูได้เผื่อมึงจะช่วยกูสร้างบ้านหน้าคนเหมือนประยุทธ์เลยตายเถอะเฮ้ยมาเลยซ่าวันดีจ้าอีพิโซดสี่ในชุดแกะฮัลโหลเชริฟคุณเชริฟฮัลโหลนาริซ่าไงนาริซ่าเช้าแล้วนะฮะ Have a seat. Nang got the. Put hua, put hua. I. Can. Are you okay? You okay, Lupao? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Let's just say I've been better. มันดีขึ้นแล้วไอโยด้วยหนึ่งทีแต่ดีขึ้นแล้วนี่สูบบุหรี่ได้ด้วยเอาไหมฮัฟเฟนเป็นพับเหรอไม่มีคนสูบเยอะสักเท่าไหร่ละอ๋อเขาพกมาเองแล้วแล้วมาทำอะไรอ่ะ I know what you did for me. Sending me to the open arms, and I think you want to help me. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room. At the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just. Go ahead. You're here because the crooked man sent me to the bottom of my list of worries. If you have something you want to say about that, right? Have you got something to say about that? Right? Have you got something to say about that? Right? Have you got something to say about that? Right? Have you got something to say about that? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I, I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now. They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about faith and Lily? What I'm saying is, friends matter, and I. I don't have any left. 
So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know. I want to help. But it's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I missed your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can't we just take the ribbon off? Slow down. Please. Okay. So the ribbon. If you take the ribbon. If anyone finds out, I can't be a loose and martini. That's probably snow. I have been Sonona. Listen, Bangladesh Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? We don't need a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. 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 Don't I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Wait, you don't have to go. You don't have to go. You don't have to go. That was abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about. It's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off. Or it's how Faith and Lily died. That's the reason why Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the crooked man? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows? 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 ทำอย่างอื่นเฮ้ยหรือ